Welcome to the Deep in State, sponsored by Eclipse. I am Nick Hawks. On today's episode, we have Mike Horton from GeoNet. This episode is sponsored by Eclipse Labs. If you're pushing the limits of what's possible on chain, you should build your own rollup with Eclipse. We'll have a little bit more on them later in the show. Before we get started, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. This alerts you to when the next episode drops and helps us keep bringing great guests like Mike to you. Mike, welcome to the show, man. Hey, Nick. How you doing? I'm super psyched to be talking about this whole GeoNet staking thing. This is something that uh, we've all been working on for a long time. So excited to to walk through it and see what we find. Sounds good. Cool. So let's uh, let's start off with kind of the, some of the big stuff is how much does someone need to stake on GeoNet? Yeah. So the, the, the basic idea is you can stake a super hex to create a high value reward zone. Um, and to do that, uh, a total of 50,000 tokens need to be staked on a eligible super hex for that super hex to become active as a high value zone. Got it. And what comprises a super hex? A super hex is um, six individual hexes. So let's take a look at, at the console beta. Um, and it, on the console beta here on screen, we can see our normal miner map, but we can also turn off the miners and we can look at zones that are open for staking. Um, and these zones are uh, live zones that will be live next week when we when we go live with this. And some of these are in farming regions here in California. And you can see when you zoom in, you'll see that a super hex um, is actually comprised of six uh, perimeter hexes plus one center hex. So a total actually of seven hexes comprise a super hex. Okay. So Let's see, there's gonna be two questions on staking and they're both around earning is what do you earn for staking? And then what do you earn for deploying a miner into a staked area? So let's start with the, the second question. So once a region, a super hex region is staked, uh, immediately the rewards in that zone jump to four times the normal rewards rate for the first miner that enters in the super hex. Following that, two more miners are eligible for increased rewards at um, half the, uh, the, the, the first miner's reward rate. So in the case of an immediate uh, miner going into the hex, they would be earning 2x rewards um, so long as they are in empty subhexes within the super hex. So that's okay. the basic rewards. Now, if, if nobody enters into the staked super hex in the first 30 days, the rewards grow. So it starts at 4x. And then after 30 days, the rewards for the first miner in that zone grow to 6x, 8x, 10x, and onward for the 180 day period. So the rewards can you know, really grow um, because we're really trying to expand the coverage of the network into some areas that are frankly just not as easy to deploy as say big cities. Okay. So that's the miner side of the equation. Now for the staker, um, the staker will receive, the, the staking period is one year, and at the end of that one year period, they will receive their stake tokens back plus a 10% bonus. Okay, so not bad. Now, 50,000 geodes is potentially a lot of, of geodes for folks. Uh, can you split your stake with other people? Yes, so uh, you can stake um, in 2,000 GOD token increments and multiple people can work together to uh, stake a super hex. Got it. Okay, cool. So as long as you've got some homies, uh, you can get it together, put your GODs together and, and crush. And then how long do the rewards last? So someone puts a stake on, someone deploys. What does it look like? Do they get that forever? How does it look? The uh, high, high rewards rate lasts one year from the time the first miner enters into the, super, into the staked super hex. Okay. Um, so they're going to get that high value rewards for one year. And after that, it will revert to the normal mining rate for all miners in the super hex, not just the five first miner, but the second and third and any subsequent miners that, that happen to put up stations in that they will, they will all just be on the normal rewards rate. Got it. Okay. And then I'm guessing, I mean, there's going to be some kind of uh, brinksmanship where you're just like, Hey, I'm going to wait for 31 days and deploy then. And people might be deploying really quickly within, you know, a couple hours of each other on the same day. How fine are the timestamps? Like if, if Max and I are competing um, and we both go in on the same hour, do we tie? Like, how does that work? 
Yeah. So, well, one of the powers of, of GPS and these location services is they're the way we tell time as well. So we do have very, very accurate time um, from when these devices come on the network. So there won't really ever be a tie. Uh, the timestamps are down to like the 100 nanosecond interval. Um, so it really will be the, the first one will get the full reward. The second uh, person who enters in the hex shouldn't be sad. They're going to get um, also high value earnings as well, just at 50% of the rate of the first person in the super, super hex. And again, that it, it does require them to be in a uh, empty sub hex. So we're really looking to try to get even geographic coverage of miners. And this whole system is geared to do that because that's immensely valuable for the network. So for those miners who can't participate by, you know, putting up a miner in a super hex, when they're staking, they should be realizing they're helping create value for the network by having an even geographic distribution of coverage. Um, you know, creates an exponentially more valuable network for all participants in the network. Super, super cool. So I like the the kind of broad strokes of this thing is that it's uh, incentivizing excellent coverage. So it's using all of the great parts of crypto to kind of bridge back to this Web2 thing, which is providing actual uh, useful data. What, um, let's see, two, two questions. I'll start with the first one. Um, do you think that we have kind of the perfect staking setup or is this something where you're like, hey, we're going to launch this and then make changes as we see them as we see them needed? Yes. So we are um, doing what I'd call a soft launch. Um, and we've we've been with the community for a while on this. We've re refined it a bit. We made it simpler and easier to access from the original proposal um, that was presented on Discord. Um, but yeah, we will. Be evolving it slightly over the period, but we do think we have it pretty well settled in. Um, the full evolution um, from a from a staking point of view, a, a, a person will make a proposal as to a super hex they want to propose. The proposal will get approved um, or disapproved if it's in a in a region where we just don't think it's important for the network to have coverage. Um, and then from there, it'll be available for staking. Once it reaches the fifty thousand, it will be available. For, for new miners to enter in and be a producing region. Um, so that's the process. When we launch, we're gonna launch it with some regions already staked and some regions available for staking, but without the proposal phase to make sure we have all uh, everything working perfectly. And then we'll shortly thereafter open it up for new proposals. So there won't be that many uh, high value areas available for staking um, right off the bat, but it'll grow quickly. And the areas that we will have up on the map from day one will be ones that we know we have uh, customer usage at that that we want to get it covered as as quickly as we can. Okay, love it. I like. I think we can uh, wrap this up with just a super quick overview. I'm sure we're going to get a ton of questions as soon as this video launches about all the stuff that uh, we didn't cover and down in the details. But pretty cool to see that this thing is is happening, and it's a great way for the network to indicate where we need useful coverage. So. Mike, thanks a ton for coming on today. Thanks for having me, Nick, and look forward to uh, getting this launched and, and getting the network built. Heck yeah.